That man's face is looking crazy. I don't know why Kevin Lee thought he won that fight. But let's get into it. This is Rakim Joseph back with my my second video. Um Ray Janal versus Kevin Lee. This was a good fight. I do think the the right person got his hand raised, but you know this there's room for debate, so let's get into it. Round one, Ray Janal hit him with a nice spinning back elbow slash fist because it landed more on the fist. Uh correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen Ray Janal do a move like that so I think that he was trying to show Kevin that he has evolved too because you know Kevin Lee was talking crazy he was talking about he's the same fighter and he's sending him back to the prelims so I feel like he did that spinning back fist with some intent like yeah let me give you something new but besides that uh round one it could have been either way I maybe Kevin Lee won that one because he put some more pressure on him but round one besides the spinning back fist they were kind of like feeling each other out and then Kevin Lee started coming forward with the with the stand up so maybe me round two now that definitely went to Kevin Lee the way he muscled him down to the ground was crazy that he was able to get the back and started landing some good shots how you disrespect this man's I had given him ground and pound from behind. But yeah, it was kind of an awkward position. Kevin Lee was working for the choke and I was defending pretty well. So he just started hammering him. Elbows, elbows, hammer fist, hammer fist to the side of Raging Nile's face. And I'm thinking, okay, he's going to open him up here. He might get the choke. But no, Raging Nile defended pretty well. He got up and, when, and then he actually found a way to get up. And when he did get up, he started getting loose with the jab. Started catching Lee a little bit. Started to get into it. So that, but that round definitely went to Lee. Now round three, Raging Owl was really starting to connect on uh, Kevin Lee, but Kevin Lee was able to get a really well-timed takedown. Uh, Raging Owl was able to get to the fence, but then you know that strength once again. Kevin Lee was able to muscle him down face first, and once again got his back and pretty much control him. He definitely, I think he won that round, but. Again, Raging Al just survived. What well, nice round for Kevin. Now, round four. Huh. This is the round. Raging Al was lighting Kevin Lee's face up. Like, good jabs. Uh, good um, hooks. He even got him with a great head kick. And I'm thinking, okay, Kevin Lee's going to shoot for a takedown. But he did not shoot for a takedown. I guess he thought he wanted to match his boxing with uh, Raging Al's. But... Raging Al is too much for him on the feet. It looked like maybe uh, Lee had gotten tired by this point. But yeah, that was definitely Raging Al's round. Nice jabs, head kick. It was crazy. And I I, I feel like he could, maybe could have finished. Maybe he was a little too patient. But he definitely worked uh, heavily there. So definitely Raging Al's round. Round 5 started with a great uh, scramble. Kevin Lee shot for a takedown. And... Raging Al was having none of that, so they're like reversing each other in the awkward positions over and over, but eventually Al got up, and then I believe that was the beginning of the end. Al started landing crisp shots again and again. I said crisp, crisp shots again and again. It looked like he was starting to taunt. He did start to taunt, and then he was over and over again landing. Kevin Lee would give good shots in the in the heat of the moment but i felt like you know i was hitting him like two three times compared to the one shot that lee would give and then eventually i started to overwhelm him hitting him again and again so i believe that that was definitely his round it's so i don't know if i'm the only one that feels like this when he watches raging out fight lately but it always feels like he's going to end the fight and it, he just doesn't like he's too patient sometimes like i feel like he really could have finished lee and it was like oh like mma blue balls like hit him again hit this man you had it and he just you stopped oh my god like ah uh. with all that said it seems that lee definitely won two and three and i won four and five 
Now, earlier I said Lee Matt won the first one, but you know it was it was a close round. So maybe the judges gave it to Rage now. Um, and Kevin Lee didn't do bad, but I definitely didn't think that he did enough to where to comfortably feel like he won that fight. So it was kind of it was. I felt bad for him seeing his face. Like when they announced the winner, but to me, I think towards the end, Al really poured it on him and when he had him hurt and was able to sway the judges. So, to me, there isn't a robbery or anything. You guys can discuss in the comments, the few people that watch this. Uh, but I definitely feel like Rage Now won that. And so, I don't know what's next for him. I believe. They were saying Barboza. I think it all depends where they put Ray Janelle in the rankings. Because he was number 8. And I believe Lee was 4. Barboza's 5. And he beat Hooker. Which I am going to make a video about. Because Jesus Christ. But. So I think it depends. If they put uh, Al as number 4. Which I think. That's how it should go. I think if you beat someone, you get their uh, spot. But if they give him four, then I guess Barbos is fine. Um, or someone higher like Dustin. Which I'm, I'm a fan of Dustin. So I hope not because I like both Rage and and Dustin. I also like Kevin Lee. So it was kind of hard to watch. Or Barboza. So someone... Only ranked lower by one. He could still earn a title shot with a win over Barboza, but I feel like someone ranked higher than him again. And after that, you know, we'll see. Cause you know, Tony Ferguson is probably gonna fight Khabib. Connor is free. I don't think Connor's gonna take Region out. I don't see him getting up for that, but I made a good point. Connor tapped and Region now went all five with Khabib, so if anyone should get a rematch, it should be Ray Now, If you're thinking about it through the sports, like the sport of MMA. But we'll see, you know? This was a good fight. Uh, that's it for now. Um, this is Rakim Joseph signing off. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you liked my video. I hope to improve, so leave your comments and tell me what I can do to improve, be, get a bigger audience. Um, but I, I'm, I like doing these. I like MMA. I really love MMA. I don't really have that many people to talk to about it. So, yeah. See you in the next one.